Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 of Waifus V2, the UAF Usurper Let's Play. And we have a bunch of named vessels. Yes indeed, I'm recording this on the day that the first episode went live and so a ton of names flooded through. In fact, we had 55 name suggestions at the time of recording this video and I'm sure more will keep coming in. So... Uh, I'm gonna, just going to take you through the names that I've chosen. For our Inazuma 2M, we are using the Eternal Winter name, uh, which was suggested by commenter Rad Hazard. Then, for the Seni Raja 2M, we have named her the Uwu. Uh, mostly because uh, <laughs> Trollami wanted to hear me say it. Uh, and I figured that that was valid and that was fair. So Uwu is now in our ship. And now whenever I'm talking about the Seni Raja 2, I am going to be talking about the Uwu. Uh, <laughs> so you guys can enjoy that, I guess, if that's if that's what you, you know, if, that, if that's what makes you happy. Sure. Then we have the Akatsuzuma 2, uh, which is named the Starry Knight. And the Starry Knight was suggested by... Ark Royal, uh, and I thought, well, I just really like that name. Then the uh, Tsunami, the most recent pickup that we've gotten, uh, is called the Insurrection, which was suggested by Weresheep. Then we have the Akatsuzuma, which I have named the Astari, which was suggested by Erikia Astari. And then we have, obviously, the Northern Light was our original ship. We have the other Lavella 2. And there was a suggestion to make the sister ship to the Northern Light, which is the other Lavella 2 we have, Southern Bell. So we have the Northern Light and the Southern Bell. And I thought that was lovely. I thought that was really, really nice. So we went with that. Um, and that suggestion, uh, the Southern Bell suggestion was by Chris DeSaro. And then we have the Minoria M, which we have named the Mishandra. The Mishandra and the Mishandra was uh, recommended or, or suggested by Akima, commenter Akima. And then, of course, we have the Juliet, which has been named the Chonka 2 in honor of the Chonka 1 from the previous Wifery's playthrough. And that was suggested by Tank Source. So there we go. We have the Eternal Winter, the Uwu, the Starry Night, the Insurrection, the Astari, the Southern Bell, the Mishandra, and the Chonka 2. Let's jump into this episode. If you do like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The link's in the description below, and check out that membership button as well if you would like to support the channel further. However, for now, uh, we are going to go and check out... Uh, apparently, there's an officer for, for hire here, Nolan Black... What can you do? You're aggressive with impact mitigation. I kind of like that, actually. Um, would this be our sixth officer? I think it will. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, which means that we want to not grab any more officers. One, two, three, four, five. No, this will be our fifth officer. This will be our fifth officer. And we're going to be chucking them in the Minoria. Um, so that the Minoria gets a little bit more involved in battles and doesn't sit back so much. We're currently at 5 out of 8. Obviously, we want to hold those two slots for the two fantastic captains through the storyline. Uh, so we will. So we can we can, we can can still take on one more officer. We're going to keep him aggressive and get a mentor story point in immediately. Wonderful. Welcome on into the fleet, Lieutenant Nolan Black. Uh, now... One thing I was wondering about, and I don't know about this. Can we actually rename our captains? Is there a way for us to rename our captains? I'm unsure. Elemental Terror. Elemental Terror requested uh, a captain named Lapis Elysium uh, that's high on the aggression scale. So, uh, we are going to jump in right here and aggressive, level 3 already, Lapis Elysium. If you'd like to be named, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I was thinking about possibly making a uh, 
a membership reward, but I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Anyway, let's open up the com directory. Let's talk to Leona. Let's pick up some work. What have you got? Actually, you know what? Let's let's just double. Let's let's check the um. Let's check the old bar real quick. Let's check the old bar real quick. You know, we have got a gaudy person down here, Case Cox, uh, who wants to represent the Oral Federation authorities here on Hemphayet. We're in need of fine ships like those in your fleet, and are willing to compensate you accordingly. I don't want to get rid of any of my ships. I don't want to get rid of any of my ships. Ah, uh, the person in space is clothing. Hello, Captain. You have the look of the kind of person I'm looking for. I represent a certain party that has a certain problem and requires someone with discretion to solve it. Interested? Eh. Recent political issues on Ilm in the Zagan star system. Despite our best efforts, the situation has escalated to the point where armed force may be required. You haven't, at least not to the point of having heard of this before, but a nod for him to continue. We might work on the planet for an entrepreneurial third party like yourself. If you're interested, simply head over there. I'll submit the relevant details to your tripod. Uh, we don't need the ground battle tutorial. Nope. Return to the bar. And unsanctioned bounty board. Uh, we are good because I, well, I think the unsanctioned bounty board is all like pirate bounties, right? Um, oh, no. This is the high value bounty. Yeah, we're definitely not ready for taking on high values. No. Okay. So, Leona, hello. What work have you got for us? More challenging. 39 light years away. Uh, oh, IED Prometheus. I'm not interested in fighting an IED Prometheus right now. No chance. Uh, a couple of blockheads and a manticore. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Sure. That will be the first mission of this episode. Uh, so I'm going to go get ourselves over to Favonius to Lachesis Gate, and we'll gate up closer to the site and then fly on over. I'll bring you guys back when we get there. And here we are in the Delta Rafanarak system, uh, where our target supposedly is. They're just in here in the system. So we'll, we'll do a little flying around, and I see something up here. I see something up here. Is this you? Is this the target? Nope, that is a independent mine depot. Ah, huh. there's an independent mine depot up here in the asteroid belt. Ah, Belta Loda. Oh, is this our target? Here we go. Move in to engage. Let's go. Deploy all. Boom. Let's go to war. Let's go to war. So we've got the tsunami in here now, uh, which is really, really awesome. Should I say the insurrection? Of course, we have the, the Ubu Heavy Cruiser, um, which is an absolute powerhouse. And here we go. Battle commences. Battle commences. Those fighters are doing an excellent job. Those fighters are doing an excellent job. We're putting a lot of pressure on them. They're retreating off us pretty heavily. We'll avoid racking up too much flux before it's necessary. But here is the perfect time. Accelerated ammo feed active. Go, 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 go. Fire off a couple of mini briefs. Maybe they get through. They don't get through. Ooh. Our flux. I really thought that we would get through their shield, but we really didn't. We really didn't. Nice. Excellent shot though, Uwu. Excellent shot, Uwu. Fantastic. Let's close. Let's drop shield for a moment. Close in on the blockhead here. There we go. Get some damage in. Look at those Suarez's coming on in. Crazy high amounts of pressure. Oh, Reaper. Woohoo! Un Accelerated ammo feeder, active. Just pressure, 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 pressure. Many briefs as well. They might sneak through. No, they can't fire. They're not firing at the moment. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. Just watch our flux. Our flux is starting to go high. 
We should probably pull off a little bit here. Let our flux go down. Let our flux relax for a moment here. And then, yeah, get ready to follow that back in. Ready, the, the Astari being super aggressive. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> but that's exactly what we want. We want super aggression out of the Astari right now. Accelerated ammo feeder activates. Launch a barrage into these blockheads. That's it. Let's go. Beautiful. Stunning. Excellente. What a great first battle. That was that was a just a, a, a perfect, perfect um first battle there. It really was. Uh it was it was coordinated, it was clean, it was fantastic. We'll let them go. We'll pick through the wreckage, we'll take everything. We will grab ourselves. Uh yeah, I mean not really worth, but fine. That's a hundred thousand credits though. That's a hundred thousand credits. That we cannot be complaining about. I'm going to do a little fly around of the system. Just to uh, just to make sure there isn't any, uh, you know, sneaky goodness hiding around these planets. You never know. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there isn't. It's better It's better to be sure. Uh, but I think, no, it's not. Okay, that's fine. We did. We checked. We checked. We checked over here. We checked up here. So we'll go ahead and jump out of here. Now, is there anything else up in this part of the world before we before we head on all the way back down to UAF space? We have uh, we've got a bounty here that we could definitely take on. Uh, that bounty six days left. That bounty eighteen days left. Yeah, no, we can't. Uh, there's a bounty over here. Seven days remaining. This one's oh, this one's ten days remaining. All of these bounties are going to time out before we can get to them. Ah, uh, that's gutting. It's actually gutting. Damn. Okay, well, uh... I guess we'll just start heading back. Well, I just stopped into this system to check whether there was a gate here or not. There wasn't a gate here. I was about to go and fly out when a hegemony detachment decided that it wanted to come and play with us. And frankly... I don't like the hegemony much. Screw the hegemony as far as I'm concerned. We're going to teach them a lesson. Plus 52% battle difficulty. Nonsense. Let's go. Deploy all. Hegemony are going to be gutted. That they messed with us. Gutted indeed. Let's go. Let us eliminate the hegemonic barstools. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Uwu is going to be our real prize ship here. The Uwu up against the Gemini vessels. The Uwu is going to be a real prize ship. Um, we've got to kind of rely on alpha strikes here. We've got to, like, jump in, take ships out rapidly like that, just destroying a wolf straight off the bat, boom. Um, if we let the Hegemony fleet, like, stack up, uh, we're going to be in for a rough ride. We are going to be in for a rough ride. Um, for certain. For certain. Okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Alpha strike. Let's go. Finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. Let's get in there. Finish him in. Come on. Lovely. Lovely. That's exactly what we needed to happen. Got another vessel over here that's, uh, that's backing away from us a bit too much. Backing away from us a bit too much. That's fine. Let's let this flux dissipate a little bit. That's a missile coming up. We got it. We got it. Automated, accelerated ammo feeder. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go too far forwards here. Don't go too far forwards. Otherwise, that brawler is going to make your life a horrible place. That's it. Keep backing away. Keep backing away. Lovely. Lovely. Smart, smart, smart. Let's... Yeah, that's it. Get that venture. Get that venture. 
Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Accelerated ammo feeder going out. Just eliminate this venture. Oh, that's a lot of markets coming my way. Most of them missed, though. Most of them missed. Nice. That's it. Just pummel this venture. Pummel the venture hard. Get rid of it. Lovely. Lovely. All right. And turn. We want to go for this hammerhead. We want to go for this hammerhead. We want to eliminate it the best we can. We're doing well. We're doing excellent. Uwu is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with that brawler and doing great. I think that's a brawler. Um, I, I, I want to take out this hammerhead, but I, if I'm not careful, um, instead of taking fighting the hammerhead, we're going to end up fighting uh, this. We're, uh, we're currently flamed out on engines at the moment. Currently flamed out on engines at the moment, which is why we're just drifting. There we go. Engines online. Let's eliminate this wolf. Beautiful. Hound, sorry. Not wolf. Hound. These two are staying close together, which is dangerous for us. But I think we just have to wait and bide our time a little bit here. We have to wait and bide our time a little bit here. There's an engine flame out again. Those blooming engine chasers. Those blooming engine chasers. I love like the Astari is screaming out. Like, join me in battle! <laughs> so typical. You shall be seared by my incomprehensible might. Okay, calm down, Astari. Calm down. <laughs> uh, no, again, we don't want to fight both of these ships at once. I'll take on the hammerhead. Would be lovely. Uh, what's going on here? Let's go ahead and get rid of this assignment. Uh, you guys all focus on... Yeah. On the column class. That's what it's called. A column class. Alright, a nice big... Nice big attack right here. That's it. Accelerated ammo feed is active. Just start putting work in. Start putting work in. Wait, I overloaded? I had my shields down. Lost an armor section. I had my shields down and I overloaded still. Oh no, a starry. Yeah. Starry went and got herself kaboomed. Sounds about right. <laughs> Alright, that vigilance has been taken out. The column here is really causing us issues. The column is really causing us issues. So, what have we got going on? What have we got going on? How do we change this? Do we just send everything? Oh, no. <laughs> the Northern Light is being chased out by this Dominator. <laughs> uh, we're going to cancel this assignment. We're going to grab all of you. Just focus on the column. Focus on the column. Let's let's get some focus fire going here. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Um what wait, what do we call? I forgot what we called that ship. Um The uh Oh wait, that's the Mashandra? Oh, that's the Mashandra. Be careful, Mashandra. I didn't even, I so used to the old Minoria, I was like, no, that's not a Minoria, is it? <laughs> sure is. All right, here comes the Uwu. Here comes the Uwu.
That's it. Start laying in work. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at all these missiles coming in. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's stunning. There we go. There we go. A bit of, a, a bit of targeted fire. A bit of targeted fire and it goes down. That was a tanky, scary ship, though. A tanky, scary ship. Its real weakness was how slow it was. Real weakness was how slow it was, truly. Okay, we got a couple of... We, got, we, we just got the Dominator up here and the Hammerhead up there. Okay. We did lose the Northern Light, unfortunately. Activating our accelerated ammo feeder right here. Hopefully put some work in. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. Sounded like when all the ships just start laying in. <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What have you got left? Um, a heavy strike frigate and uh, just some support ships. We will uh, we'll let them go. We will go ahead and recover our vessels. Uh, indeed. We'll pick through the wreckage. We'll take all. Um, let's go ahead and double dip. Uh, actually, we don't want to recover. Lovely. And then let's drop by this Imperium station. Goodness, the hegemony jumping on us. Uh, we're, oh, we're inhospitable with the... Um, oh, are we really? Oh, okay. Well, that was my mistake then, wasn't it? That was my mistake then. Well, uh, it doesn't matter. We did level up. We did level up, which is very, very huge. Uh, it is very, 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 very huge. Now, obviously, Ordnance Expertise is very nice. Do love a little bit of ordnance expertise, but in this situation, navigation is way nicer. Navigation is a very, very nice skill to have, uh, and we will, we will have it. We will have it. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you back home. Uh, I'm not, uh, not doing that again. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, although, actually, Zagan, does the the Zagan system has a gate, right? Zagan, Zagan. Zagan, Zagan. I'm pretty sure there's a gun system as a gate. Let's jump in. Uh, we can transponder on. That's fine. Yeah, there is a gate here. Nice. And these guys are Persian League, which are neutral to us. Yeah. No problem. Let's head to the gate. To your home. And here we are back in Shana. We are going to slide right on in to Hemfayet with 350,000 credits to our name, uh, which is a nice little bit of pocket money. It's a nice little bit of pocket money. It sure is. Uh, and we will uh, we will see. Uh, maybe we'll spend some. Maybe we'll spend some. Oh, there's an asteroid impact. Of course, it's officially a Timo episode. We've had an asteroid impact. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course of course we're gonna go ahead and top ourselves up some crew because we did lose some crew um during that battle we did lose some crew during that battle uh we are going to hmm yeah we're gonna go to the fleet purchase uh wait did we go are we at the wrong Oh, we're at the Himmel refinery plant. I was so confused for a while. I was like, hold on a moment. This isn't Hemfire. <laughs> hold on a gosh darn second. A oh, Sino. A Sino. I do want a Sino. And I've been kind of putting off grabbing a Sino, but I really shouldn't be putting off grabbing a Sino. Because we do need one. We do need one. Uh, the Isonoria 2. 
Um, looking very sleek now. Looking very sleek now. The Nuke Zoria SP. Mmm. Mmm. The Rilaru. The Ryzen. The Ryzen looks great. The Ryzen looks great. Hmm. There's a Nakiha M here, actually. I'm very interested in picking up a Nakiha M. Actually. Uh, very interested. How many deployment points do you cost? Six? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm, I think we're going to pick up a Nakiha M. I'm going to pick up a... Uh, wow, wait, there's a Lilaru too. There's a La La Laru 2 SP here. <gasps> oh, I want this. I want this so badly. I want this so badly. Yeah, I do. How did I not notice that a moment ago? Damn. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's just go ahead. Oh, why am I? No, 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 no. Stop, Tim. Stop. Stop. Get paid in 20 days. I really hope the ship's still there. I really hope the ship's still there. We'll see. I'm going to wait to get paid. And fingers crossed. The, uh, the Lalaro SP is still there. Oh, we're now have started the Imperium anti syndrome fuel once again. We keep going to war against Titan Fuel Guild and then not to war and then to war and then not to war over and over. Uh, it's a, a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it's still here. Oh, it's still here. Yes. <laughs> a Lilaru SP. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. This is a very, very exciting pickup. This is a very, very exciting pickup. Large universal, medium hybrid. It's absolutely loaded to bear. Loaded to bear. And uh, we're going to be able to get on that. Very, uh, we've got 20,000 credits. We can try and outfit it. Uh, we might find that we run out of money outfitting it. But uh, we can try. So we got, we, you know, we've got some decent amount of flux to deal with. We've, we've also got to outfit the Nucky here. So it might might be an extra month. It might be an extra month, but we will see. The Cyrexa 2 452 SXC is an upgraded Cyrexa weapon system. Upgraded fire control and recoil dampener system allowed to fire slightly faster than its predecessor while also enjoying the brand new energy-based rounds into the mix. Long-range accurate decerated fire is will suppressing shielded target. 30% chance to deal additional 200 kinetic damage against shield only. Fires in four-shot bursts. I'm... This seems very cool. I don't... It seems like it's special, like it has a... It has... It, it, it seems special. And I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, then up front, we're going to go ahead and run. Hmm. This is a small hybrid turret. Small hybrid. We can run some point defense, to be honest. Run some point defense there. Small universal. Uh, we can run uh, some anti shield auto cannons. I try not to get our flux up too fast, but unfortunately, this Cyrexa with 500 flux a second on it. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, a couple of Suarez's. Yes. Definitely give me Suarez's. I love the Suarez's. Uh, for sure. For sure. We've got a couple of small synergies. 
A couple of small synergies. We could we could definitely run just some regular old typhoons. I like the I like the sound of that. Some typhoons. We are now down to fifteen hundred and ninety one credits. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, I guess that's that. We will uh, we will sit back and uh, wait for a little bit more money. <laughs> okay, we've been paid again. <laughs> we can carry on the refit. We can carry on the refit. We've got lots to slap in here still. Uh, we've got a couple of medium hybrids to fill in here. We've got a couple of medium hybrids, and I definitely would like some like more ded dedicated anti shields. So the metal have two fifty fours are super nice, but I kind of the the problem I have with the metal labs is that they are super. They're super fluxy. They're super fluxy, you know what I mean? And we're kind of putting ourselves in a situation now. We'll chuck a, we'll chuck a burst flak on the back here. That's fine. We don't need to worry about the flux this produces. Because it's only going to be firing to, to you know, to protect the engines from, from sneaky stuff. Hmm... I wonder whether it's just we I wonder whether we can just leave the smalls off, you know. If we just chuck if we just chuck a little bit of PD on the edges here. A little bit more PD up front. A couple of rainers. And honestly, just call that a sorted ship. Don't worry about these two ballistic turrets here. There's no need to worry about them at all. Just run Typhoon launchers, Suarez launchers, um, and then the Cyrexa and the two Metalavs. Yeah, I think I think that's what we do. And then we go in here and we definitely give it Unstable Injector. Definitely give it Dedicated Targeting Core. And... Uh, hmm... I think we just slam points into capacitors just to increase that flux capacity to give us because essentially what the lalara is going to want to do is like dive in first dive out using face skimmer um like dive in do a load of damage dive out using the face skimmer to get in and out of the combats so having a higher flux capacity just means that she can go full bore for longer in each of her sort of like dive in dive outs so i think that's what uh, we're going to want to do there is uh, do that <laughs> the semi brief admirer uh, for her name we're going to call her the waifus now there was actually a name that was selected or specifically asked for a heavy cruiser uh, and this is by su the suggested by dd dietrich and is the zathku the zathku um, is the name for our lalari 2 sp heavy cruiser uh, we're going to go ahead and auto assign here. Um, these can auto fire. Everything can auto fire. Um, except for the typhoons. The typhoons will be the one thing that doesn't auto fire there. Sorted. Then, of course, we have our Nakiha. Our Nakiha, which has a medium hybrid in the middle, by the way. Little, little, little frigate with a medium hybrid. <laughs> Uh, in terms of weapon flux, it looks like we can do 400. We go ahead and chuck a flux distributor in there as well, 430. So we do have to be careful with what we put in here, because if we put in something too crazy, uh, then we just, it's just, it's just everything's gone. Um, so in this sort of situation, the Medlab 254 Rapid uses way too much, but Medlab 254 support is probably the perfect fit. The Medlav 254 support is probably the perfect fit here. Um, it has the Amazoc launchers built in, uh, which are unguided torpedoes. Uh, then we have a couple of small ballistics on each side and a couple of small composites. Uh, so for the composites, we're going <laughs> to run mini briefs. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are. And then for the ballistics... We're going to go ahead and run some classic, classic raccoon APSs for active protection. Um, 
And then with the small hybrid on front, we are going to run the Toner Anti-Shield Railgun. So we've got the Medlar 254, the Toner Railgun, uh, and then we've got two mini brief launchers. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, which have two shots each. And uh, yes. It will be spectacular. We will fire all the mini briefs and the Amazox all on one weapon. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. Uh, we will do that, though. We will do that. Okay. And then we have 15 more points to spend. Uh, we can definitely take hardened subsystems. Uh, we'll definitely take unstable injector. And we will probably take reinforced bulkhead as well. And that will be that beautiful. And the, the Nakiha is going to be called the waifus and this one is suggested by uh let's see here let me find it let me find it nst harlequin and it is the tiger lily the tiger lily so welcome zathku and tiger lily to the fleet uh we're gonna slide in here so the zathku is gonna jump all the way up to here um and i'm going to pilot that myself because I, I i'm honestly i just really want to give it a go and then the eternal can be piloted here by nolan black excellent the tiger lily can slide in right there uh actually we'll slide it in i think we do that we put the minoria then the lavellas and then the nakiha yeah yeah yeah, yeah. perfect okay wonderful wonderful when we do have a couple of officers for hire we do we are looking for one more so day merrill what can you do you're aggressive with field modulation okay okay summer campbell what can you do you're aggressive with ordnance expertise Ooh, i like ordnance expertise actually um with how i'm sort of pushing the limits on flux quite a lot with a lot of my ships at the moment ordnance expertise really comes in handy um so day merrill was field modulation which is great by the way uh damage reduced damage taken by shields reduced flux generation by active phase cloak which doesn't make any difference um i think we're gonna go with summer campbell i think we're gonna go with summer campbell welcome on into the fleet summer uh, it is wonderful to have you here and you summer will be piloting the minoria you will be actually with ordnance expertise the minority is not a great fit for you maybe summer you're actually going to jump in here and nolan can go back to the minority where he was yeah i like that i like that indeed indeed i like that look at these ships they look so stunning the zathku the eternal winter the uwu the starry night the insurrection the astari the mishandra the northern light the southern bell the tiger lily and of course everybody's favorite chonka too <laughs> let's go get ourselves a job let's go get ourselves a job from lovely leona hello lovely leona how are you doing what is on the bounty docket maybe something more challenging 45 light years away it is oh oh i'm not entirely comfortable at running up against the relari right now i'm gonna be entirely honest we probably could but i'm also i'm not wanting to risk our beautiful new fleet uh against the relaru um what about whatever you got works for me oh well this is different uh a seni raja 2m an inazuma and a lavella yeah we can do that One hundred eighty thousand credits is a cracking man of my cash let's go let's do it so we are heading over to the delta samurat system we don't quite have enough fuel but that's fine we will just uh swing in here and we will top up on fuel that'll probably get us there and back uh let's go i'll meet you there okay we are here in our target system the delta samurat system we have no info other than they are here so let's start hunting for them uh we found them <laughs> we found them uh this should be a relatively simple battle for us we are going to go ahead and deploy all because uh overkill is the best kind of kill uh and we've got the new lalaru which obviously has the face skimmer 
uh, which is going to be super, super fun to use. Uh, it's going to be super, super fun to use. I'm looking forward to diving in on this. So, for instance, we can shield up. We can jump right into the combat like so. Beautiful. And not, and, and then we could jump out. In this case, we're not going to because we don't need to. But theoretically, we would be in a position where we could just then jump out. Which is really cool. Very cool. Let's go ahead and let our shield flux drop there. And then I want to jump on this. I want to jump on this right here. So that's what we're going to do. Shields up. Face skimmer in. There we go. Overloaded. Just start laying into it big time. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah, I'm really liking this ship, actually. I'm really, really liking this. This is... This feels very strong. Ooh. I like it. I like it. We're back away. We're back away. Go vent while we can. And, but this is the crazy thing. Like, we backed away, right? And then we're like, nope. Actually, we're back in the fight. <laughs> we're back in the fight, baby! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's what you love to see right there, really. That is what you love to see. I love this ship. I really do love this ship. The face skim attack is, is awesome. There we go. Sakai's are done. I mean, we knew we were going to win that fight, but it was really, it was really good fun to get, uh, to get in and use the, uh, get in and use the Lalaru SP there. Uh, that is a very, very enjoyable vessel to use for certain. Uh, we can go ahead and recover a Nakia. Ah, I'm good. Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't check to see whether I could salvage. Oh, I didn't even think. I was just like, oh, no, skip salvage. We didn't. We, we might have been able to get something there. Whoops, we got the diplomat milestone. Get 100 reputation. Wait, are we 100 rep? We are. We're 100 rep with the UAF already. Goodness me. That, that, that went quick. That went quick, didn't it? Boom, 100 rep with the UAF. And there's an asteroid impact for you. Uh, we've already had one this episode, so now it's two. Oh, dear. What am I like? What am I like? What am I like? I'm just doing a quick s slide slip. Skin scan. Quick little run around of the system. Just make sure that we haven't got any, like, obvious uh, cool things that we could be picking up. But otherwise, we have got a bit of a journey back. A um, little bit of a journey back. That's fine. We could go to the spindle system, actually. I wonder, I wonder, does spindle have a gate? I wonder if spindle has a gate. That'd be a nice system to be able to gate to and from, actually. So I'm going to go check. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the spindle system, I guess. Spindle does not have a gate. Spindle does not have a gate. Uh, no problem. Uh... So I know Galatia has a gate. I guess we'll just head for Galatia, right? And hope that the hegemony don't engage us. They might. They might jump on us. So we might have a battle. Uh, we'll see. We'll see.
Uh, the Gladiator Gate oh, is kind of close to the station, to the to the hegemony station. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get on in there without getting grabbed. Yeah, we're good. We Gucci, lovely. Well, apparently, we can salvage. <laughs> I guess we will salvage. Sure. Travel through the gate here, back to Favonius or Kaylee system. And we will then go and get ourselves out. Go and get ourselves out. We are going to have to start doing some rep stuff soon. I mean, we're on episode four already, uh, and our fleet size is getting good. But we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to go start uh, delivering choco lava cakes to the lovely Nia uh, and other things as well. Uh, soon enough. Soon enough, especially if we want to impress the wonderful Inara here in our home station. Inari, sorry, in our home station of Hem Fayette. Um, because we currently can't access her. And I'd like to talk to her. She's quite a funny lass. Actually, wait, I bought that. This is all UAF weaponry, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, in which case, we might as well just hold on to it. All a tree of 30. Tree of 30s are some of my favorite UAF weapons, hands down. Tree of 30s, I love them. I think most UAF players love the Tree of 30s, though, actually. Honestly, I don't think I know a UAF player that doesn't like Tree of 30. Uh, Monday Carney, we... <sighs> yeah, we can't. We can't. We're, we're full. We're full. We are full. Unfortunately... We are full. We can't because I want to keep those two slots open. Uh, let's see. What do we have available? Uh, is there another Nakiha M? No. Is it time to buy a Woe? I don't think it's time to buy a Woe yet. I don't think we're quite there. Don't think we're quite at buying a Woe yet. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We don't need one yet, is the more important thing. And I see you in the black market. Oh, goodness me. So, indeed, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to top off on fuel. We're going to deliver those off. I'm going to hold on to the high-value prisoners because I was recommended... Um, to keep hold of them. If I have a, like a whole chunk of them, then I can go and repatriate a bunch with a load of people to um, to fix like re reputations and relationships and stuff. And I thought that was actually a, a, a genius idea and a really, really smart comment. So I'm going to be holding on to high value prisoners for now. Um, I thought that was really, really smart. Uh, we definitely don't need a hundred of these. We can get rid of some of them. Uh, we've still got plenty of supplies, really. So I guess we go take another job. Uh, we'll do one more job for this episode. We've got time, haven't we? Yeah, we've got time. We sure do. There's an escort carrier. A Minoria M? Yeah, we'll, we'll buy a Minoria M. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we don't want to sell a, a, a ship, but we will pick up a bounty. 47 light years. Ooh, ramparts. Mm. 11 light years away. Oh, no, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlas Mark II, Colossus. We've got this. We've got this. Yep, 100%. So we're going to go ahead and just refit our uh, refit our new Minoria real quick. Uh, and the Minoria... I do like the Forlorns. The Forlorns are kind of some of my favorite uh, fighters, honestly. Forlorns are some of my favorite fighters with the UAF. So I think we're going to run some Forlorns. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and slap a Medlav 254 support. And just a couple of regular old Rainers on there like so. In terms of outfitting, hardened subsystems is a must. Unstable injector is a must. Uh, da, 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 da. You can chuck in some reinforced bulkheads. Flux core distributor. 
get put a bunch of points in vents. Uh, can honestly chuck blast doors in as well and then just slap points in capacitors. Maybe even go armored weapon mounts. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's going to be a tanky. She's going to be tanky. Uh, that's fine. She is going to be named... So, the waifus... Hmm. Perhaps... She will be named the waifus... Oh, actually, oh, the perfect name. The perfect name. This was suggested by Sean Pardo, the Sparrowhawk. This is the perfect name for a Minori M, I think. The Sparrowhawk. I love that. I love that. Wonderful. And that will slide in right there. Our fleet is really starting to come together. Let's go ahead and travel 11 light years for our bounty over here in Beta Harkad. Beta Harkad, Beta Harkad, House Harkonnen. I mean, wrong universe. I'll see you there. Here we are in the Beta Harkad. Says, oh God, we've just been chased. Oh, we've been. Oh no. Oh no, it's a Ludic path. Holy Armada again. Honestly, I think we can fight them. The IED Prometheus, though. The IED Prometheus. Oh, goodness. That Castella that we fought last time, do you guys remember that battle <laughs> between between the Uwu, known as Six back then, and the Castella? And then there's an IED. There's a Prometheus IED. Oh, no, this is a standard modified tanker. This isn't an IED, is it? Wait, is it an IED? I don't know. That's 119% difficulty. Oh, of course we got, of course we got grabbed. Of course we got grabbed. I'm so good. <laughs> Why did we get chased in here by Ludic Path? They literally were like chilling outside where we were going. And I saw them and I, I dived into the system and they followed straight away. They followed straight away. Okay, so we're going to have to be real smart here. We're going to have to be real smart, real capable. All right? Real smart, real capable. Real smart, real capable. Let's see. Here come their ships. Here come their ships. This is going to be... Oh. Oh. The Lavella? Oh, the Dram IED just took out one of the Lavellas. Okay. This is... Oh, beautiful. Yeah, take this out. Take him out. Take him out. End him rightly. End him rightly. Get right in there. Come on, quickly. Oh, drams, 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 drams. They better not be IEDs. They better not be IEDs. Petrified of IEDs right now. Absolutely petrified of IEDs. Okay, enforcer down. Enforcer down. Good. Good. Yeah, let's dive on this. Let's, yeah, 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 I agree. I agree, Akazuzumu. This is how we're going to win these battles is by being quick, diving onto targets and blowing them up before the enemy can react. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Excellent. Excellent work here. Excellent work. How's the battle looking? Okay, their their main fleet is round here. Just keep backing away, guys. Just keep playing smart. Uh, why is so many of you fighting this hound right now? That seems a little strange to me. That seems a little strange to me. Um, a hound? Oh, Lavella got disabled. I think it got rammed by the... Yeah, there's the blockhead ramming. There's the blockhead ramming. Oh, the IED took out the blockhead. The DRAM IED took out the blockhead. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. But we actually probably... That actually was very good for us with the DRAM IED uh, taking out the blockhead for us. Actually huge. Actually huge. This is this is going this is actually going better than I thought it would. This is actually going better than I thought it would. Most definitely. Okay, need to be careful. We are we are squishy here. I need to be careful about what I'm doing with uh, with no shields and stuff. Uh Let's see. So they've got two battleships here. They've still got like a decent chunk of fleet down here. Uwu, what are you doing at the moment? You are just going head to head over here. Okay, fine. Fine. Don't seem to be doing too much, honestly, Uwu. And that makes me nervous. That makes me nervous. Careful, Akatsuzumu. Careful. We gotta... Yeah, we gotta put damage down on this. Oh, I'm getting out of there. I'm getting out of there. Venting. My... My, uh, my flux got high there and I got, I got nervous. I really don't want to lose this ship. Oh, unfortunately. Ah, oh, the Starry Knight is down. The Starry Knight is down. Oh, oh, careful, 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 careful. Careful, careful. I got you, I got you, I got you. Look at me, look at me, Prometheus, look at me. Look at me. Now stop looking at me. <laughs> this is this is intense. This is very intense right now. Damn, there goes the Suzuma. There goes the Astari. I don't quite know what to do right now. Uwu, how's it going? You're taking on this venture. You guys should have that venture done, right? You should be able to eliminate this venture. I hope so. I really, really hope so. Uh, I need you to be able to take on that venture. We've got to be real smart here. I think we just need to keep backing away and holding off this Prometheus. Um, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forces shield. Forces shield over this side. Forces shield over this side. That's it. That's it. We got some damage down there. That was good damage we got down there. Good damage we got down there. Because uh because they were forced to move their shields around. Alright, so just back away. Back away. 
Um, you guys are good, right? You guys come up, go for the Prometheus. Everyone come up and go for the Prometheus. Good. Yeah. Come up and go for the Prometheus. There we go. There we go. Yes, beautiful. All right, now is the time. Okay, no, back off, back off, back off, back off. Back off. We need to go for those flanks. That's it, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pressure, 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 pressure. Pressure, 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 pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We got this. We got this. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, no, no. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Stop overloading. Then He's charging. We're okay. We're okay. What happened to the Prometheus? Did he... Prometheus down? Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Save him. Save him. Save him. Oh, unlucky. Eternal winter goes down. Come on. That's it. Everyone in. Finish this guy off. Finish this guy off. Beautiful. Push him. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's it. Keep pushing. Pressure, 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 pressure. That's it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. Huge win for us right there. Huge win. That was a plus 111% difficulty, I think it was. Was 111% difficulty. Seni Raja picking up 1700 XP. The Lilari 1500. We're going to have to do some built-in hole mods when we get home. We're going to have to do some built-in hole mods when we get home. Most definitely. In terms of pursuit. I'm not particularly willing to go into pursuit right now. We're going to let them go. We're going to consider ship recovery. We're going to pick up our vessels. Because uh, we did lose a fair chunk. We did lose a fair chunk. Uh, we're going to pick through the wreckage. We're going to take everything. Uh, we'll drop off a little bit of fuel. That's fine. Uh, we don't have... Uh, oh, my FPS has decided to take a big drop. Uh, we're going to head back out of this system. Uh, and I... Is my FPS going to return? No, oh, it's not going to return. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reboot the game real quick. Okay. We're back with decent FPS. Uh, we're currently in a situation where we don't have enough crew, so we do need to actually go get to our local station before we come back and finish off this bounty. Uh, meaning that this is going to be a long episode. Uh, not that you guys are complaining, are you? No, of course you're not. Tactical drills is going to be the, what we pick up for a plus 5% weapon damage for all of our ships. Which, you know... <laughs> yeah, great. Awesome. Um... Let's hopefully not run into more Ludic Path. Oh, yeah, okay. No, are we okay? Can we make it out? I don't know why the Ludic Path are hanging around here so much, but it's absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. 
Uh, where are we right now? We are... Wait, where are we right now? Oh, yeah, we're here. Okay. So we're best off just getting on getting on back to, uh, to Aurora here to, uh, to get a restock on and then come back out for this bounty. We're burning through supplies like crazy right now. There's an asteroid impact. Everybody's getting liver failure. <laughs> um, there we go. Supplies dropping right down. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sell off all of these non-UAF weapons. Like so. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab crew. Like so. And... Pair. Leave. And head back off towards the bounty. And uh, att att make attempt number two. Make attempt number two. Um, this is going to be a long episode, actually. I've been recording for an hour and a half. Now, there has been a bunch of downtime um, in this episode, but still. It's, it's probably going to be an hour one. You lucky devils, you. The episode's normally only supposed to be 40 minutes, so I always aim for 40 minutes. I always go over because I would much rather go over than I would go under, right? I would much rather, like, go over and you guys get a 50-minute episode or a, even an hour-long episode rather than you guys only getting, like, a half-an-hour episode, right? Um, but uh, because I'm... Because I always would rather go over, I always do go over significantly, almost always. I think I can count on the amount of, like one hand the amount of times i've actually got an episode close to 40 minutes <laughs> okay let's go ahead and grab our bounty target let's go ahead and grab our bounty target wait did i not have sustained burn on that entire time oh such an amateur tim what a probe nice rich rare ore deposits location love that for us love that for us Okay, um, let's go find our bounty target, though. Yes, sir, Bob. Bit of a ping. Nothing comes up on the ping. Okay, no problem. No problem. There's something over here. Just a random fleet. Not of interest to us. Let's fly around the star here real quick. Fly around the star here real fast. Uh... Let out another ping. Hello. Anybody home? There they are. Okay. This is going to be a battle. I think we got it. I think we got it. The Atlas is going to be a, a tough nut to crack. But otherwise, I think the rest of the ships we will be able to crack. No problemo. We'll send the Sparrowhawk over to Com Relay Alpha. We'll send the Tiger Lily over to Sensor Jammer Gamma. And we will head on forwards. And we'll see how things go. If I need to give orders, I will. But otherwise, I can rely on the AI pretty damn well. Um, they uh, they do a pretty good job most of the time, I find. Maybe, you know, I've got a lot of aggressive officers at the moment. So I'm losing ships a bit more often than I would possibly like. Uh, and I could reduce the, the amount of times I lose ships by giving more orders. But um, honestly, I'm, I'm quite content with how the AI is performing at the moment. I'm quite contented with how the AI is performing at the moment. Oh, please don't get in my way. Thank you. Lovely. There is a, there is a cheeky little shrike here. We're going to get right up in its face. Okay, yeah, no, don't, don't spin around like that, Tim. Okay. We've lost engines right now, which is bad. <laughs> oh, engines online. Okay, there we go. Wow, we, that could have gone so much worse for us because I accidentally used face skimmer to spin around. Um, definitely accidentally, but somehow we actually managed to, uh, not get punished too heavily for that. Which is quite incredible, really. Oh, 
There's one kite down. I really enjoy the face skimmer on this thing. Uh, the face skimmer combined with like the, the unstable uh, injectors so that um, you know our, our speed is 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 fantastic. Um, big fan. Big fan. When a cruiser is keeping up with a frigate, you know, it's like whoo -wee. Woo -wee. Admittedly I shouldn't be frigate chasing really. I really should be getting involved in the bigger fights. So I'm actually gonna do that. I don't know why. I'm just chasing a frigate around. I'd much rather go engage this Atlas that is probably going down right here. Beautiful. 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 I will get involved in this Colossus kill, though. I'll get involved in this Colossus kill. Come right here, baby. Come here, baby. Yeah, we go. Oh, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. What a fantastic fleet right now. What a fantastic fleet right now. They are exquisite. They really are. It's, a, it's just a little... There you go. It's a little kite. And done. GG. Fantastic. Beautiful. Stunning. Gorgeous. We'll let them go. Uh, no problem. Pick through the wreckage. Grab all of that. And get paid. Uh, a decent chunk as well. Uh, right there. Boom. Lovely. We've got just shy of 500,000 credits to our name. Stunning. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friendos and MBs, uh, waifus as well, of course, uh, is going to be the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Links in the description below. And also check out that join button if you'd like to support the videos a bit more financially. Uh, but otherwise, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Stay safe in the stars. Farewell.